In this video, I will walk you through how to scan Wi-Fi QR code on laptop. This is Wi-Fi QR code scanner online, which helps you scan, decode and assess Wi-Fi network info such as SSID, password, network type and other important information. It works on laptop, mobile, or tablet or any other internet enabled device. So for the first time, you will need an internet access to access this website. So let's review the sections and how to use this website. There are basically two major sections. In the first sections, it will ask you to add a Wi-Fi QR code image or screenshot. So any image will work. You can drop your image here or browse. You can use your mobile phone to take a screenshot, take a photo, then you can drop here or you can use your laptop camera to take a picture and then drop here. That will work also. So this tool can be used on any device with an internet access. So for the first time, you will require an internet access. If we go in the second section of this website too, uh, we can see this section shows you the Wi-Fi details such as SSID or network name, password, network type, and also if the network is hidden or not. So let's start the scanning process. This is the Wi-Fi QR code image so we will select this and you can see in the second tab the wi-fi qr code information is decoded now we can see ssid password network type and if it's hidden or not you can refresh the page if this scanner is not working or if you are trying to scan a new qr code so you can see how simple it is to scan the Wi-Fi QR code on laptop. So now we have the information. So for the first time I had the internet access to use the website. Now I have disabled the internet access. Now we will use this network information to connect with the internet. So in order to do that, go to Windows settings On this page, you need to find the network and internet option. Then open it. On the next page, you can see it's not connected. On the left side bar, check Wi Fi. Then you need to click Manage Noun Networks. On the next screen, add new network and now we will use the decoded information here so i'll go back and copy the ssid or network name is case sensitive so be careful for the spaces or user cases on the second section we need security type in our case is wpa wpa or wpa2 is same and security key code in security key we will need to use the password then click connect automatically now see at the error you can see the Wi-Fi has been connected successfully with our desire so please subscribe to sport